Hello and welcome to Blue Wolf Pack News. I'm Brandon Snipes. And I'm Josiah Zuno. Today we're giving you an update on North Sports. We'll get a preview of the theater department's next production. And we'll spotlight another incredible teacher. All that and more coming up in 15 seconds. This past week, the theater kids went on Elf the Musical for the middle school students from McClure Middle School. In the spirit of Christmas, the North Paulding Theater Program will be putting on Elf the Musical on December 13th at 7 p.m. Um, in this play, I'm looking forward to making the role my own and giving out my own personality in Michael because Michael's, uh, Michael's crazy. He's, he's not afraid to speak his mind, and that's kind of how I am in real life. The best part is being able to work with these people. Like, I love everyone in this cast, and we all just have so much fun and trust each other, and it's great. What I am most looking forward to in this play is just playing this character, because I've always wanted to be Buddy the Elf since I was in, like, middle school. It's one of my dream roles, so that's what I'm really excited for. The best part about making this play is just the magic that is created on stage, and the magic get from um, portraying a different character and just the singing, the dancing, it's what I live for, it's my passion, so that's definitely the, the best. Do bring your family, it'll be great, it'll be a show for the family. Students should definitely bring their families to this production because it's just going to be super fun, especially for children, like it's a classic, almost everybody knows Elf, the movie, and so it's going to be a really good time. Yes, of course they should bring their families. They should bring everyone. Bring your church family, whatever you can. Tickets are $5 at the door. The cast of Elf hopes to see you there. If you have the opportunity, make sure to come out and see this festive musical. The band has a Christmas concert next Tuesday. It starts at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Come and enjoy some familiar tunes like Sleigh Ride, Most Wonderful Time of the Year, and the Polar Express. So come on out and listen to some Christmas music. Chorus has Jingle and Mingle and Concert Friday, December 12th from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. They will be performing a variation of songs such as Hot Chocolate, Give Love on Christmas Day, Carol, Run Run Rudolph, and more. After Chorus performs, there will be a Hot Chocolate Social along with the feasting of baked goods. So come out to support, mix, and mingle. With great teamwork, the swim team was able to power through all of their meets leading up to their fourth one coming up this Saturday. With new members joining, the team has been able to adapt and grow stronger as their season continues. In order to get an inside view, we interviewed Logan Peake to hear his experience and thoughts on the team's progress. It's helping me grow as a person, honestly, getting to know a whole bunch of people uh, in and out of the pool. Um, it's helped with my bonds with my coaches and teammates and teachers. The team looks very prepared. We have a bunch of new swimmers that are showing a lot of potential for state qualifiers. My goals would be placing top 20 at state this year. I got top 30 last year in a couple events, so going for that. Seems like our swim team has had good leadership and is set up for, for success. Now to Malia for sports. The North Paulding wrestling team is 5-2 and two in a dual competition with multiple top five placing winners in their individual tournaments. This Friday, December 6th at 6 p.m. and Saturday, December 7th at 8 a.m., come out and support our wrestling team at Creekview High School. The guys' basketball team has a slow start to their season, but is hoping for a win against Forsyth Central Friday night at 7.30 p.m. On the other hand, the girls' basketball team has been rocking it this season with four wins and only two losses. Come support their next game Friday against Walton at 6 p.m. You can also catch both boys' and girls' team at home going against Alatuna on Saturday. Boys at 6 p.m. and girls at 4.30 p.m. Don't forget to also come out and support the boys' team on Monday going against South Paulding High School at home at 7.30 p.m. To highlight our swim team, we would like to start by congratulating our very own Wolfpack athlete, Gracie Byerly. She is the first female swimmer to make it state in the past couple of years back on November 9th. North swim team will be having a meet this Saturday the 7th at the Mountain View Aquatic Center. The meets will begin at 2 p.m. and tickets will be available for about $5 at the front of the Aquatic Center. Go support our swimmers. The North Paulding rifle team has started the season undefeated. Jersey Wilson, one of the top shooters, qualified for state, and we would like to congratulate her for her accomplishment. The next competition is on December 12th at 5 o'clock at Harrelson. It's free to attend, so make sure you show up and show out. 
Dr. Watkins, one of our teachers here at North, has been here for many years. She's taught many subjects such as biology and physics and has taught multiple grade levels. We went out and asked her about her experience has been here at North and why she decided to start a teaching career. Um, I teach both um, honors biology, AP biology, and physics. Um, I love biology because of just all the life science. My inspiration came from several of my own high school teachers. Um, my high school English teacher, my high school science teacher especially, um, those were probably the two ladies that influenced me the most to become a teacher. Working with my students and um, getting to show them just the different areas of science and how a lot of it can relate to real world situations, real world problems. Um, I love technology, um, so I just like to bring in all of those things into my classroom to get the kids, hopefully get some kids inspired to go on you know, and pursue some kind of science career or math career or technology career. Already, I really want to inspire my students to, if they want to pursue a science career or math or engineering or just something along those lines, I really believe firmly that healthcare, um, technology, you know, those are a lot of the areas where there's jobs. And I want to be able, I want to be that impactful teacher that shows kids, okay, you can take what you've learned in high school and you can go out and make a career for yourself. Looks like Dr. Watkins is having a great time here at North teaching our students daily. That's all, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. And stay classy, North Balding.